Welcome to Tech Binomia. This tutorial is about input masking in Ionic. Input marks are the expressions that constrain the input to support the valid values. In this documentation of Ionic, they are using the Mosquito library, which is a lightweight dependency free library for the input marks. One example is also given here, but to explore the more, we need to explore the Mosquito library. So we'll get, you will get all the details of the Mosquito library here along with what needs to be installed for the use in the Ionic project. So let's start for the installation. We need three installations of the libraries. One for the Angular specific library of the Mosquito and another two are uh, Kit and the Core library. Import the mosquito module in the home.module.ts file. Also add one mask.ts file to define the marks required for the application or the page. So add the first one username mask. Assign the regular expression. As per this regular expression it will allow only the small case and upper case letters and space. The max allowed length is 40 characters. No special characters or number will be allowed for this mask. Now in the TypeScript, import the username mask. Also required here the mosquito element predicate. This is how you can define the mosquito element predicate for the ionic HTML input element. In the HTML, take a simple input, ionic input. Set the username mask to the mosquito property and the predicate to the mosquito element property. Now it can take the uppercase and lowercase letter as well as space, but I could not enter the numbers or special characters. So it's working fine. Define the capital case mask. Assign the same regular expression allowing the uh, lowercase and uppercase letter and space. This is the example for how to apply the post processor to the value. This will take the value and convert it into the uppercase. Let's apply this mask to the ionic text area. So whatever the text we type into the text area, it will get converted into the uppercase format. So it's working fine. Now add the date time mask, set the date mode, time mode and the date separator so that you can enter the valid date. We can add here the minimum date and the maximum date for the range. I am specifying here the current date as a minimum date. It will allow all the dates between this range. Let's add the time mask. It will work for 24 hour time. Add the time mask for the 12 hours clock. Now you can enter the hours for 12 but not more than that. Add the phone mask for the Indian phone number. Start with the plus 9 one. And two sets of five digits separated by space. You can start, cannot start with the zero. Add the mask for the percentage. Set the minimum and maximum value. Post prick the percent sign and precision. Two. Now it will allow all the percentage between 0 and 100. Now 
Now add the mask for the amount. Set the precision, decimal separator. You can add the main uh, minimum value as well as the uh, symbol for the currency. I am adding here the rupees. Not allowing the zero amount. Now you can add zero. Now define the mask for the price. Here adding the post processor which will uh, check for the zero and not allowing the zero value in the price. And not type zero. Now add the mask for the currency card. Added here the post processor which will not allow all the digits in the card number as zeros. Now try to enter all zeros. It's not allowing. Add a car CVV mask. Only three digits required for the CVV. We are adding here the placeholder. This is how you can add the placeholder in the mask. Add another mask for the expiry date of the card. We are specifying here the minimum date as the current date. Only digits can be entered into the CVV. You can also restrict the zero for the CVV, adding the post processor. So changing the date, date uh, less than the current date value is not allowed, mainly the month and the year here. So I hope you like this tutorial, it is helpful for you. If so, please subscribe the channel and don't forget to like the video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.